Chris Master Albert, coming into this season, he'd only won one race. Yeah. You've got him to win three this season. Yeah. How have you done that? <laughs> uh, it's very lucky, you know. In the, this one, this horse, you know, is uh, is pretty good. Good healthy is this year, and last year we did uh, we ran him a couple of times, but uh, we find out he's got a small problem from his back, and we find it in the summertime and we treat it. And uh, vet department do a great job, and and he's coming back. Is the whole season is totally 14 start. I think he quite you know um, run. Uh, amazing races every race and got a free winner last year and now tomorrow maybe we went up to the class class 3 64 rating uh, also we got a good drive I think he got a good chance to 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 run well and does happy valley suit him do you think I think it's the yeah the, it's the fact is you know the result everything is it seems like you know it's the because this horse we talk about you know is his deck is just a, a bit short and I think is a happy valley is the is more suit for this horse Looking at his last win as well, Chris, he was able to set up a little bit closer to the pace tactically. Is he versatile? Can you have him anywhere in the run? Uh, yeah, the uh, last time, you know, uh, 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 I, I predict, you know, he's, he's sitting in the midfield. But last time uh, when he started to, to start to jump, he's jumped pretty well. And and also, you know, it seems like um, uh, unexpected he ran well. You know, he won last race, but... Uh, and this time, you know, also he's got a good draw. I think it's the tactics, you know, also the same. Yep. Your own season, Chris, you've had 31 winners this season compared to 28 last season. We've only got three meetings left. Are you happy with what your stables achieved this season? Uh, of course, you know, I really hope can win more. But this year you can see, you know, all the trainers is very competitive, you know, like uh, everyone almost the same, you know, 30, 40, in the top, it may be a couple, you know, in the 40 is a couple and 30 something is a lot. I think it's this year, you know, so it's, it's quite very even. Every every stable did a good job. So, uh, in the last two meetings, I hope we can get a couple of winners. Yep. Vincent Eternal Harvest, you'd ridden him at his last couple of starts. So going into his last race, he'd been freshened up. He was coming back in trips to 1,000 metres, also coming to Happy Valley for the first time. Did you go into that race confident that he could run as well as he did? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, is uh, in good form and. Last start, he, you know, was sort of sitting around behind the pace, midfield somewhere there, and then he kicked home really strong. Happy Valley, obviously, was no concern for him? No, no, not at all. Uh, he handles well, you know. We've seen that he's raced over 1,200 metres. He's won over 1,000 metres last time out. What distance do you think suits him best? Uh, it really depends on the pace. He, you know, 12, he handle. No problem. So back to 1,000, you know, he, he can stay a bit longer. So uh, even with a wider gate, you know, seems a bit difficult, but, you know, he, he, can, he can handle 12, so he should be all right. And again, looking at the race for tomorrow night, there looks to be good pace on. That's what he needs. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it also helps him with a good pace on him. This is a ride for Ricky Yu's stable. Him and Francis Loy are both fighting out the trainer's title. You've got rides for both of them, good rides for both of them, on Wednesday night. Is there any extra pressure on you riding for them, given the situation that they're in? I'll just do my best on every single one of them. You know, uh, it's back to them if, if uh, they, they can have more winners. Zach Golden Spectrum, you jump on on Wednesday night. He's been placed at his last couple of starts. Are you getting on at the right time? Well, I hope so. Um, you know, he's fit. Uh, he looks as if he's he's in form or he's come into form now. So the gate's nice enough. So it's just a matter of whether he wants to go out there and get the job done. Looking at his last run, he didn't look like he quite ran out the 2,200 metres. Do you feel more confident with him coming back to a trip like 1,800? Yeah, it's probably a fair assessment, um, and he, he should be better for that run and fitter as well. He's had another trial here, and to be honest, his, his trial sort of was, was just OK, but um, it's not on the surface that we're racing on, on Wednesday night. And it, was, it was a long way short of the distance he's had as well. So, you know, these horses that are a bit one-paced and want a bit of ground, they can, they can trial like that. But, but he, he moved well, and he seemed um, like he was in pretty good order. Your own form, Zach, of course, after the weekend we saw Joe Moreira has been suspended. He'll miss the last meeting as well, so two of the next three or six in front of him uh, is a title all over. Can you say that now? Well, mathematically it's not, but it's probably pretty safe to say that it is for sure. Um, 
you know, I've got a couple of free kicks on him. Um, it's unfortunate that he's not going to be there for the last meeting. It was, it, um, although I had a nice, nice lead, it was still going to be nice to go down to the last meeting and and still have that pressure, which um, which is enjoyable. But instead, uh, I've got a few rides for Francis Loy, and he's under a bit of pressure himself, so it'll it'll keep me focused. This is a battle between you and Joe that's been going on from day one of the season. Is it somewhat of a relief that it's all over and that it's ended in your favour? Well, yeah, of course it's a relief that's ended in my favour. Um, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it and it can be uh, quite stressful at, at times. Um, you know, he, there's no doubt he, he puts a certain amount of pressure uh, um, on me uh, every meeting and, you know, rightfully so. It, you know, we both compete for the same rides and... At the end of the day, I, I was just lucky enough to have the ball bounce my way. It, it could easily have gone his way. and You know, it's, uh, it probably feels like it's been the hardest fought um, one of, of all the championships that I've had, just through the fact that I haven't had one stable behind me that's given me a real good push. I've had to uh, fight for every opportunity I've been given and make the most of all those opportunities, and, and I've had them from a number of different stables. and. I just haven't had any free kicks anywhere. Um, so every meeting is, has been tough. Every meeting's been hard. Um, and it, it obviously feels very satisfying and, and rewarding. And we'll have a little bit of a freshen up and do it all again next season.